this is the chair acquisition. This is where you take your game. We take a look at it. We grade it on pass fail scale for does it launch, performance, graphics and control. And then we give it a score from one to four chairs based on whether or not we liked it and you stroked us off or paid us off. This week we're taking a look at Ultimate Chicken Horse from Clever Endeavor Games built on Unity. You can pick it up for about 15 of your local currency. Uh, what is it? Ultimate Chicken Horse is a party platformer game where you build the level as you play, placing traps and hazards to screw your friends over, but trying not to screw yourself. This is one of those rare occasions where Mr. Fox Dog sent us some keys because he wanted people to play with, and yep. lo and behold, <laughs> we've taken a look at it two years later. So let's <laughs> kick this off on Ubuntu. How does it work? Hey, man, over here on the 1804. whatever the hell it is this week, uh, Ryzen 1700 980, and this should run quite well. Kind of does. Kind of, sort of. Comma, yes, uh, it better, since you're kind of going to be restarting this game constantly, unfortunately. Seriously, uh, getting an online game going, I'm going to cover more on this. Uh, it's kind of a carp shoot, man. It's definitely a carp shoot. If you're looking for performance, you're looking at about 300 at 1080p, about 100, 120 at 3840 by 2160. The graphics, check it out. They work. They look good. They're flat. Cartoon. They're brilliant. I really dig the art style. The controls, this is kind of where shit gets a little dodgy because when it works, it works. It works well. But I can't give it a pass on this simply because, you know, it's going to randomly eat shit sometimes, leaving you unable to control your awesome little character until the end of a round or restart, like I said. Uh, another biggie is the inability to launch the game with the keyboard and gerbil and then use the controller. That's not going to happen. But if you make Super serial, super sure to launch it with the controller. Make sure you don't touch your gerbil or your keyboard or player two is going to appear out of fucking nowhere. And there's not mm -hmm. much you can do about that. So, yeah, does it make with the working? It does launch. Multiplayer, not so much. And it kind of will just freeze up and disappear on you sometimes. And with the controls, man... It's been out for a long time. I want to give this game all the love. That's why we waited so long. It's like, come on, come on. But we got to do it. Um, yeah. I hate doing this, man. But, you know, I'm not going to fail you. But you get a solid, you know, two chairs. What? F for effort. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So much much like Vin, it's, it's a lot of the same stuff on uh, Fedora 28 uh, with the i7-6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, yeah, the game will start up, but every time you want to restart a multiplayer match, you have to quit the game and restart it, which is super annoying. Um, performance wise, I mean, it performs fine uh, with VSync on and it's at 60 frames a second. And if you turn it off, then my 1080 Ti just crushes this thing. So there's really no <laughs> point in uh, reporting performance on that. Uh, graphical wise, yeah, look at that chicken dance. It, it, it definitely shows up. I, I like the character design in this. It's It's a mix of cutesy and like just enough to like, I don't know make you rage and controls yeah so th th this has been a problem since we started playing this game where if you touch your mouse or keyboard before you actually uh start before you hit the menu that is your player one slot i ran into another issue where if you just kind of nudge the mouse accidentally it'll spawn <laughs> a second cursor even if you're using the controller in the slot one and those will both be under control of the um of the first player slot which gets really annoying uh we uh we, we ended up uh having to like mess up a match because ven's like what the hell are you doing oh this other cursor is, has control over my character i was trying to get rid of it um so yeah i, I again like like ven said i don't want to i don't want to give this a bad grade but there's definitely a lot of technical issues with this game that you're going to have to deal with if you want to play so it gets two chairs for me yeah, it launches reliably, which is an improvement from the early access days, but it still fails to, you know, join online games without a restart. Uh, and you're going to go through that a lot if you don't have friends over to play the game with you. The performance, it yeah, it's locked at 60 because VSync unlocking it. It seems to cap out at 300 frips. That's what it can do. Uh, the, yeah graphics and audio they both work just fine controller support which actually kind of surprised me the 8-bit do nes controller was recognized out of the box it worked fine and yes so long as you don't touch the uh, the mouse or the keyboard which after two years of playing this game i know not to do so i i guess that's a learned thing i'm not going to dig in a chair for that but yeah that does need to be fixed so i'll give it three <laughs> All right, well, let's score for Fedora, Solus, and Ubuntu. What about fun? Ben, did you have fun playing this game? Um, 
I like this game. I like this game. It's a fun game. It's a good fuck around game. It's great for an after show, even with like four people. We had fun playing it last night when we could get it working. Um, just out of the box, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. I mean, I got to give this a reluctant two because you can technically make it work. And I'd love to give this a four. If this thing worked reliably, I could give it a solid four, but I can't because it just doesn't. Let's talk about the good things, though. When it is working, I mean, just the basic mechanic of building a nope gauntlet to kill your friends while you're simultaneously creating a path for yourself. That's so wicked fun. I mm -hmm. like it. I mean, it's really, really fun. But then again, it's really, really busted when you're spending so much time. I mean, like 20 percent of any chicken horsing session is going to be composed of like fucking around with controllers, restarting the game, randomly losing connection and trying to find a level that everyone can connect to. This was an issue in the recording that you might be watching right now. I got to keep saying though, when it works, when everything clicks, it's a brilliant game. I like the idea of it. It's got a creative mode. It's got workshop levels and it's just good. However, um, if I said that the host client sync was incredibly buggy, I'd be accused of understating the actual facts. It is genuinely RNG whether or not you can connect. Now, normally, when we play this, we'll have somebody in Australia. Hi, Foxy, we love you. Or <laughs> people in the UK, Pedro, or Trugs. Or, uh, last night, we tried this on basic easy mode. Um, I'm on the East Coast of North America. Uh, Mr. Alert was on the West Coast, and Jordan is up in Toronto. That, that, that's an easy one continent type of thing, and it just wasn't having it. Now, at first, now, admittedly, we had one other player from Tanzania, just <laughs> just right off the coast of North America. Um, <laughs> but even after he dropped, after the game's like, fuck you, and he's like, I'm out, guys, we still had an issue getting in particular levels. Like, we couldn't load the waterfall level, could we? No. No, uh, I mean, it just wasn't just having it. Yeah, so I we thought, had. I, th I, th I think that may have been because of the having to leave and restart the game, though. Well, we all had to do that, yeah. and it, it, that just needs to be fixed. And until it is, we're not the only one saying this. This is not like, oh, this is just an issue with Linux. Look at the reviews. I mean, everyone pretty much says the same thing, which is true. It's a fun game. It's neat. Now, if you're going to play locally, if you got four controllers or just two controllers, and you want to fuck around with friends, giggity, go for it. Have fun with it. But if you're picking this up with the intent to play it with somebody online, I can't can't recommend that. That's me. Peace. Old man Vin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, on, on paper, uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse is a fantastic game because the platforming is really good and the versus mechanic is inspired in how it makes people's brains just contort. It's like where you get these levels like no one can beat this. OK, now I got to start making this easy, but I don't want to make it too easy but I'm not sure I have the ability to complete this jump. And I know Mr. Alert can, cause he's just way too good at video games. <laughs> um, but uh, in, 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 of course it inspires a lot of good shit talk. And in practice, there are a lot of problems and they're all technical in nature, the control issue, the multiplayer connectivity issue, the cursor issue. And yeah, the, the, it, it just makes it, it stops you from actually starting playing the game, which is the best part of it. Um, but if you if you can't get to that, then you know what's the point. I mean, the the, la the lack of single player is a bit of a uh, moot point. This is by design a party game. There's no no one in their right mind would think, oh, I just want to play this on my own. It, there is a free play mode where you can sort of like craft levels, and if you want to like try and build a strategy of the stuff that you build, or at least practice some jumps, you can. Yeah, look, look at that chicken fry. Um, <laughs> and the ability to create and share levels is nice and force people to go through that. But again, if you can't play the fucking game with your friends, and what's the point? It took four intoxicated people to sort out <laughs> online multiplayer. Um, uh, intoxicated technical people, yeah. Sober non-techies don't stand a chance, period. I'm going to give it two chairs. Yeah. No, my admiration for uh, Ben Yatsi Croshaw is news to no one watching this, but uh, you can never really fully agree with someone. Now, Yatsi shtick is uh, a video game needs to be able to stand on its single-player campaign. 
I don't agree. And this is a really bad example because this game doesn't even pretend to have a single player campaign. Uh, it's, uh, its job is to be a party game. Simple mechanics, easy to understand concepts, and a healthy dose of watching people fail. That's usually what gets people drinking at a party, and that's kind of what you want. Unfortunately, having to continuously debug a game when you have friends over is not what people want. Uh, this isn't early access anymore if the game is in an officially released state crap like being unable to reliably play it should be fixed it's not fun when the game fails to deliver on the most basic thing that it sets out to do so for me it gets one chair all right hmm. well i guess that's it for ultimate chicken horse uh, uh do we got yeah, do we got, yeah I, got, I got uh one thing i really want to point out is one of the reasons I think that we've waited so long to really put this game together. It, am I wrong? We all kind of just assumed it was still in early access because of the issues. Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> and like the, the, the gameplay itself is super fun. But like I said, if you can't it, actually yeah. get to play the game, then it's a moot point. Mm -hmm. it, it's basic platforming uh, with all of... None of the frills and all of the skills. You have to be very careful with where you place things in order to yeah. dick people over, but still be able to make it there yourself. It's a really awesome concept. It was just very poorly executed. Mm. Yeah, you, you saw you saw, in the in the previous uh, thing on the uh, menu or on the level select, you saw my extra cursor. That was well, like, we're looking really at annoying. like one of the issues that we ran into last night. We were trying to get into the waterfall level. It just sit at loading screens and i tried doing it then you tried hosting the game same shit yeah mm -hmm. yeah so yeah yeah that sucks T technical issues abound but it's a really fun game and i really really hope that these guys can fix their shit because this game deserves better <laughs>